I always wanted to to act, but when I was when I was really young, I was shy, terribly shy. I was one of these that you know sat there at the back of the class, you know, when they sort of said, "Who wants to?" I think it was like Greece. It was like, "Who wants to be in Greece?" And I was like, "Yeah, I really want to." Oh. Um, I don't know. And then I got to an age where I just thought um, it was sort of a now or never really thing for me. I lived in America. I came back. I lived in Washington D.C. for a few years. Came back and. And I was like, if I don't do this now, I'm never going to do it. So I auditioned at Rose Bruford, a drama school in Kent, um, and got in. I did their part-time theatre arts course for two years, uh, which was really good. Got on really well with my tutor. Uh, did a, so a showcase at the Soho Theatre. Got an agent from that. And, yeah, and sort of went from there, really. Uh, I've just been lucky. I've, I've done quite a lot of independent films. The a small part in EastEnders. Um, and I go back to Rose Bruford now as well. And I talk to the students and, and, and tell them, you know, I don't know, maybe I sort of tell them it's not all candy, you know, candy coated when you leave here. Don't expect that you're going to just land that big role because that's not the way it works. You know, it's, it is really hard work and it's, it's 24 seven. You have to, you know, you have to network constantly. You have to, you know, really put yourself out there. So even if you get an agent, that's all very well and good, but you, you need to work you know, you are your own business. So, you you know, you need to go out there and sell yourself as well. So, um, and I'm quite good at that, quite proactive. I go to a lot of film festivals and um, I'm a member of the Media Lunch Club. I go to that once a month and meet lots of producers, directors, writers there. I love, for me, I love gritty dramas. That's, 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 I love it. I'd love, I, I absolutely loved um, Kate Winslet in Mayor of Easttown. Fantastic. And I love, uh, oh gosh, ah, Sarah Lancashire in Happy Valley uh, and all that, all that stuff. I, I, I love a gritty drama. Well, hopefully, um, finance depending at the moment, I'm going to be working with Frank Harper, who's a good friend of mine. And I'm hoping to play his sister in um, a film called The Way It Is, which Frank has written and hopefully will be writing and, and directing as well and starring in. So yeah, that's that's my next big thing, hopefully. Yeah, Frank Harper's sister in in the way it is. She she's a she's a real yeah, she's a real ruthless, bit of a hard-nosed bitch. Um which I think is fantastic for me. It's, it's stepping out of my comfort zone as well. That you know, that's what I love. I love to be stretched as an actress and just um yeah. And I, and I think that'll be a really really good good role to to do. Cuz I'm from South London. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a producer per se at the moment because obviously I haven't had the experience, but I'm getting there. But it's, it's, it's quite nice being on the other side of it as well because obviously I've you know been doing acting. It's quite nice actually seeing how it all comes together and, and, and how much hard work goes into it. So I'm working on two films at the moment um, and one's called Two Penny Prince. The other one's called Mary 3691. Yeah, so Two Penny Prince and Mary 3691, they're both written by Gary Rhodes um, and he is a writer, uh, not really done much directing, but a producer, in, a producer as well. And he lives over in Tasmania, so obviously a long, <laughs> a long way away from us. But I met Gary through social media um, and we got chatting on sort of Facebook and I sent him my, my showreel and stuff like that really when I first, a couple of years ago this was now. Um, and he really liked my, my stuff and he was like, you know, I think, you know, you could definitely be in, in one or both of the films because I'd sort of read a little bit about them on Facebook and, and they looked really interesting. And uh, so we got chatting and we spoke a lot on FaceTime. And then um, one day, you know, he sort of said to me, look, I really like the way you work. I like your ethos of the way you work. And I think, you know, how would you feel about representing me over in the UK? He's a prolific writer, so he's written a fantastic um, film called Hadrianus, which is a, a, a horror film, um, a big budget horror film. It was actually read by David Benioff um, quite a few years ago, who loved it before. This is before Game of Thrones. Um, and and that, that's the thing. Gary's, I mean, these films were written quite a long time ago. He's also written one called um, Jinx, which is that's a TV series. Uh, he's written one called Gatlin Park, which is set in a crematorium. A very dark comedy, um, which again it would be a great TV series, uh, 
And yeah, so so we got chatting and, and you know, he told me who his lead producer was, who's Andrew Wood. Um, he's written, uh, sorry, he's, he's produced quite a lot of stuff. He's just come off of the Why Didn't We Ask Evans Agatha Christie TV series with Hugh Laurie, who um, directed it. Uh, he was producer on Fortitude, on on Will, on I mean yeah he's been he's I mean he's he's old school producer he's been been on it for donkey's years I met with him a few weeks ago um, to talk about the two films. So he he asked me you know how would you feel about maybe coming on and like helping produce? I was like well it's not anything I've ever done before but yeah absolutely I'd love to be involved. So that's how that's how I sort of got involved with them both really um, and. Mary 3691 uh, is um, obviously, so both films are, they're not, they're not womb to tomb. They're not biopics. Um, they are just a snapshot of um, her life and Two Penny Princes, David Bowie and Mark Bolan. But I'll, I'll come back to that. But, um, and yeah, it's basically, she was, um, she was a lesbian, which not a lot, you know, a lot of people don't know that about her. She also was incarcerated six times um, by her father um, to try and cure her <laughs> of her lesbianism. Um, so she was she was subjected to all sorts of treatments. You know, they tried to drowning treatment, um, electric shock treatment, and all sorts. So it's so it, although it's 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 that part of her life. There's also lots of other stories woven in with it within it as well. Um, and th- th- yeah, it's a great. It's a great story, and I think you know, with a fantastic soundtrack. So I think it's something that would be really good. And it's also, it obviously it's about mental health. We've got Frank Harper, who is going to be directing Three Six Nine One. Um, so I was, I'm friends with Frank, and reading the script, I was chatting to him about that, and mentioned you know him to to Gary, and yeah, they they got in touch and had a you know a FaceTime, and uh, yeah, so Frank's Frank's on board as director. Which is great. Um, I just think, well, I, I mean, I know, I know Frank. Um, you know, we've been friends for a while, and I just think he's, you know, although yeah, he has got obviously that's his background. But why can't you do other? Why can't you know you do other films? It doesn't have to be purely that genre. Um, and I've you know watched um, St George's Day. I think he directed it really well. Gary and I spoke about it a lot, um, and he was like, yeah, you know. I think it could work. So yeah, I think it's 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 different, and I think Frank will bring bring a lot of expertise to it. So Two Penny Prince is um, about the French again. It's not a Wim's Tomb. It's, it's not a biopic. It is about uh, again a snapshot of how Mark Bolan and David Bowie met. Um, they became great friends way before they became well before they became famous. Um, so it touches on. It's their friendship. Um, it's all of, you know the fringe, fringe dwellers at that time. Um, you know the, the gay community, um, all of that. Uh, and again, fantastic soundtrack to it, and interwoven with other stories. Same as Mary. You know this, the way Gary's written both of them. Um, so we've got some hopefully some really good cast lined up for both, but we can't say at the moment. I mean, Gary's, he's done a lot of research. So this has been going, for, this isn't just a, a year or two years. He's been researching this stuff. He's, I mean, he's spoken to lots of fans. You know, he's done so much research. Um, Roland Bolan, um, you know, Bolan, Mark's son. Uh, he's spoken to him a lot at length about it all. Um, yeah, and we've, we've, he's, I mean, we haven't got the music as such. We haven't got it, you know, we haven't signed to get the music yet, but he's he's done a lot of research on it and, and it's all available. Um, and plus now we've got Bowie, um, Bowie Music, which is only just, his estate has only just sold that, the rights to the music. I'm hoping to, yeah, there's a, there's a small role, um, which is a news reporter in that. So I'm hoping to be in that and I'm hoping to be in Mary as well. But, you know, it's with these things, once they get funded, you know, and bring in some a lister. <laughs> uh, we'll have to see how that pans out. Um, I've got a film, hopefully, that's coming out called Repentance, which I filmed uh, a couple of years ago now in Skegness.
So I went up to Skegness for a week and filmed up there. And it's a, it's a really good little thriller. It's It's got um, John Altman's in it, Daniel Harold, both out of EastEnders, John Peel. Um, and it, yeah, it's a nice thriller, sort of gangstery thriller film, um, two hitmen. It's also a really lovely little young actress called Minty Gorn in it. She's brilliant. She was in um, Transformers and she's one of the leads in it. And I play a guest house owner and uh, I get to look after her. I can't say too much because I don't want to give any spoilers, but it's a, it's a, it's a great little film, hopefully. Yeah, it's just, just sort of going through distribution now. Yeah, hopefully that'll be great. No, we'd love to have you down on set. Yeah, I mean, if perfect. You know, once we get the uh, Two Penny Prince and Mary 3691, definitely we'll invite you on to set for both of those. And hopefully the way it is, 